Hello students, welcome to English lecture. Today I am going to give you a detailed summary or explanation from your prime English textbook chapter 5, The Firebringer. Before I start with the chapter Firebringer, I would like to give you a little introduction about the story. Prometheus, the Firebringer. The myth of Prometheus tells of a powerful Greek titan who stole fire from Olympus and brought it to earth as a gift to mankind. He was punished for lightening the world and modern artists sometimes suffer the same fate. Now student, in this chapter you will come to know about the two brothers Prometheus and Epithemius. There, there is a myth of Prometheus tells of a powerful Greek titan who stole fire from Olympus and brought it to earth as a gift to mankind. Now, the firebringer, as the title itself tells you about the bringing of fire to humankind. Zeus sent most of the titans to Tetris to punish them for fighting against him in the Titan Mechi, but since second generation, Titan Prometheus had not sided with his aunts, uncles, and brother Atlas. Zeus spared him. Zeus then assigned Prometheus the task of forming men from water and earth. Now, Zeus has given them the power to, you know, to forming of men from water and earth, which Prometheus did, but in the process became founder of men than Zeus had anticipated. Zeus didn't share Prometheus' feeling and wanted to prevent men from having power, especially over fire. Prometheus cared more for men than for the wrath of increasingly powerful and autocratic king of the gods. Now, because Prometheus is, you know, he loves humankind men too much that he is not worried about the powerful and autocratic king of the gods and he is not about, worried about the power he is having which he got from the, you know, Zeus. So he stole fire from Zeus, lightning, concealed it in a hollow stalk of fennel and brought it to men. Now this completely shows that how much he is worried about the humankind and uh, he is, you know, he is always thinking about the future and so he has created, uh, you know, so he has stole the fire from Zeus and give it to humankind. So student, this is a story of uh, about uh, the firebringer. Firebringer means to bring the fire to humankind and uh, basically it is an epic story uh, which has been, you know, taken from the ages and now in this chapter we'll come to know how Prometheus has stole fire from Zeus and how he has uh, you know helped humankind. Let's come to the chapter from the very first conversation. Now here to can you see in the picture student that uh, Prometheus and Epitheus uh, standing in front of them and uh, both are you know having a conversation. Now Prometheus asked from his brother, brother don't you ever think of the future? How will humankind survive in this world? How are they going to protect themselves? Now these are the you know multiple questions which are coming up in Prometheus' mind. I have told you earlier also that uh, Prometheus is too much worried about man and uh, so he is worried about the future. And um, I would also like to tell you that Prometheus meant forethought and therefore he always thought of times ahead of him means always think about the future and epimetheus uh, meant afterthought like unlike his brother he was you know he's foolish and retrospective and therefore prometheus thought about what type of living being to create and epithemus thoughtlessly created the living beings now here also in this conversation you can see that Prometheus is too much worried about you know the future and how they are going to survive in the world and how they are going to protect themselves. Who? Humankind. Now in the reply of the conversation and the question asked from Prometheus, he said, don't worry brother, Zeus has given me the power to give one special gift to each of the living beings I create. Now he is replying to his brother that Zeus has given me one special gift uh, to create living being. I will make sure that each of these living beings have the means to protect themselves and survive. Now he's saying when, whenever I will create uh, living beings, I will make sure that I will make them to you know understand how to protect themselves and how to survive in this world. 
Now, in the next uh, picture, you can see that uh, he was sitting, you know, nearby river bank, and he was upset. Feeling upset, Prometheus walked towards the river bank, sat down, and began to think of the future, because he is a, you know, uh, he is a forethought, and he always think about the future. Now he is sitting in the bank of the river, and he is thinking about the future. Now he is talking to himself. What can I do? How can I help humankind survive? Now he's thinking, what should I do and how can I help the humankind? Okay, I hope this much this page is clear to you all. Now let's go to another page and next slide. Prometheus went out amongst men to live with them and help them. He noticed that they were no longer as happy as they had been during the golden days when Kronos the titan was the king. Now, uh, what happened? Uh, Prometheus went out and uh, he went among the people, the common people, and he noticed that they were not as happy as they were happy during the golden days of Kronos. Kronos was the, you know, uh, he is the titan, uh, the youngest leader of the first generation of titans who descended from Uranus, the heaven, and Gaia, the earth. He is known as the titan of the harvest. Now, I hope you have understood that uh, he is the youngest leader. Kronos is the youngest leader of the first generation of Titan. Now they were talking about themselves that uh, he is noticing that they were not as happy when the you know when the kingdom of Kronos was running. They were happy during that time, but now they were not happy because that is their golden days. Now can you see the faces in the picture? Now let's go to another slide. Now in this picture you can see. He found them living in caves and in holes of the earth, shivering in cold because there was no fire. Now, when he, when he saw, you know, people they are shivering because there was no fire and they were sitting, you know, um, inside the hole and feeling cold and uh, dying of starvation. Starvation means, uh, you know, hunger and they are not having any food because there is no fire, so they have to, you know, eat raw meat. So. Whenever you know when the student there is an invention of fire, the it too much helped us in cooking food and make us warm, and in a different way you know what how fire is important to us. So in the same way he saw that they are dying of starvation, hunted by wild beasts and by each other because um, either the wild beasts used to eat them or either they e eat uh, they you know kill each other and uh, make food for their survival. The most miserable of all living creature. Now he saw that their condition is too miserable, and they are living in a very pathetic life. Now in the next picture, you can see granting humankind the knowledge of fire will help them. Now he thought that uh, if he'll give them the knowledge of fire, it will definitely help them, and uh, will you know help their future as well. He decided to talk to Zeus about the idea. Now he decided to talk to uh, about this idea to Zeus. Now let's go to another slide. Student, here we can see Prometheus went back to Mount Olympus to meet Zeus. Now Prometheus went back to Mount Olympus to meet Zeus, and uh, now he wanted to talk to Zeus, who is the you know who is the king. Humankind need fire for protection and survival. Kindly grant them the grant them the knowledge of fire, Zeus. Now, student, I would like to tell you the little introduction about Zeus. Zeus is the supreme god who is the protector and ruler of mankind. He is the god of weather and atmospheric phenomenon. Okay, and uh, now he is talking to you know he is talking to the supreme god that uh, god humankind needs fire for protection and survival. Who is asking all these things from Zeus? Prometheus. Prometheus is asking from the Zeus. Now, in reply, Zeus said. No, they quarrel among themselves. They are worthless creatures. Why should we give them anything? It's better to get rid of them. Now he replied, "They quarrel among themselves. Quarrel means student uh, fighting. Fight. They fight among themselves. They are worthless creatures. They are good for nothing. Why should we give them anything? It's better to get rid of them." Now he, you know, on reply he said that uh, we should not give anything to them, and they fight with each other, and they are good for nothing. Now you know Prometheus has come with lots of hope to Zeus, but uh, Zeus' negative reply make him you know very upset and very you know very emotional. Let's come to another slide, then we'll come to know what happened in chapter. 
but in this picture can you see but what should we do then now he's too much worried and so in a worry he ask again uh, question from zuiz but what should we do then i will create a new race and teach them to serve us human beings are our creatures they must do as we desire now he replied to them that um, he will teach them he will create one new race and teach them how to serve them and human beings are our creature means they have created it so they should know how to you know they how to serve uh, god and how to respect god and how to help god then only the supreme god will help human kind they must do as we desire now he want that uh, they should go according to the instruction which was given by the supreme god now let's go to another slide how will human beings acquire wisdom if you destroy them please empathize with them now in in a you know in a very um, different mood or in a very you know annoying attitude prometheus you know asked from god that how will they acquire if you destroy them please empathize be be polite with them now he is requesting to swiss in a very you know uh, in a attitude and in a polite way he is using the mixed combination of mood to swiss so that swiss uh, get you know normal or emotional and he should understand the condition of human i believe you favor human kind they have a heart and a mind worth admiring but they desire to live as gods do don't we feed ourselves on ambrosia and nectar every day to preserve our lives now he said that uh, i know that you favor human kind they have a heart and mind which is worth admiring because no other animal is having that level of heart or mind as human kind are blessed but they des desire to live as god now because they are having mind and heart they think themselves as a god so which uh, zuiz didn't like this attitude of human kind that is why he is not ready to help and provide fire to humans because he knows that once they'll get the this power and they will uh, again forget about the god and they will not respect and will not follow the uh, instruction given by the supreme god now student i would like to give you the meaning of ambrosia here they have given the red mark can you see it is written uh, in a very corner ambrosia the food of the gods ambrosia is the food of the gods every day to preserve our lives now he is what he is wanting uh, don't don't we feed ourselves on ambrosia and nectar every day to preserve our lives uh, he is saying that uh, we also work hard we also have uh, food uh, the food which is given to god and nectar every day to preserve our lives so human kind should also learn to how to uh, survive by their own not taking help from god so in the next picture you can you see you are impatient you won't give them the time to learn how to protect themselves and survive you destroy them with floods and thunderbolts over and over again now he is saying that uh, zuis you are getting impatient you don't give time to protect themselves and survive you are destroying them with the uh, flood and thunderbolts again and again and giving them punishment one by one i beg you zuis grant them the knowledge of fire and see how human kind flourishes now he is saying that once you will give them now he said that i beg you that once you will give them the knowledge of fire then human kind will fl flourish why he is saying all these things because uh, god has only created human kind and he want that they should you know they should know the survival and without fire because he didn't went to the human and so he doesn't know the actual condition of the people how they are surviving but prometheus went so he is worried about the human and uh, though he is having an emotional connection with them and uh, being a god he loved the human and he wanted to help them now let's go to another slide in this slide you can see that zuis is getting you know uh, very angry and uh, in a very loud way he replied to prometheus i will not not one spark will i share with them for if humans had fire they might become strong and wise like us and after a while they would drive us out of our own kingdom besides fire is a dangerous tool and they are too poor and ignorant to be trusted with it 
now in this uh, in these lines you can see student that he is getting you know very angry and he said that he will not give a single spark to human because once the human will get the pro process of fire they will become more strong and powerful like god and then they will you know they will drive out us our kingdom and they will you know they will use that tool and uh, will you know they are too poor and too ignorant to be trusted they don't deserve our trust and then they will use this tool as a weapon which is not good for the world it is better that we rule the world without any threat so that all of us can be happy i do not need you prometheus to advise me on what i should and i should not do now he is very angry and he said prometheus you don't tell me what i have to do what i don't have to do i know about the human kind and i know how much i need to help them and i how much i have to ignore them and i will not give the knowledge of fire because they don't deserve our trust now uh, what happened student hurtfully prometheus left the marble column hall of mount olympus he had set his heart on helping human kind and he would not give up so easily now he is very you know too much hurted by the words of uh, Uh, Zeus and he left the marble column hall of Mount Olympus, and he set his heart on helping human kind, and he would not give up so easily. Now he, because he is a very adamant, he is too adamant like Zeus only. Zeus is adamant in his own word, and so the Prometheus is also adamant in his own thought of future. Now, uh, he uh, although he went away from the hall, but he would not give up so easily. It means that he will again try. and will try to help human kind now let's see student how prometheus is going to help human kind now can you see in this picture as prometheus began walking by the seashore he found a tall stalk of fennel uh, student here i would like to give you the meaning of uh, stalk stalk is the main stem of a herbaceous plant and fennel fennel is an aromatic yellow flower flowered plant with feathery leaves okay he broke it off and saw that its hollow center was filled with a dry soft substance which could burn and now which could burn uh, slowly and stay alight for a long time alight a uh, student alight meaning on fire and he carried the stalk with him as he went back to mount olympus now what happened in this scene uh, prometheus you know he was walking beside the seashore and he found the you know the, there was a one flower it is of yellow color and it is having a long stick and uh, he broke it off that uh, flower and saw that it's a hollow center it's hollow from inside that stick is hollow was filled with a dry soft substance which could burn slowly and stay alight for a long time means if it will burn that stick it was going to be you know burn like a long time just like you know uh, like candle if you'll burn and it will you know work for a long time in the same way it, it that stick is also like that only he carried the stalk with him as he went back to mount olympus now he carried that stick and again he went back to mount olympus now in this picture can you see human kind shall have fire despite what jewis has decided now again he is thinking that human kind should have fire and uh, despite what jewis had decided now let's go on next page Prometheus sneaked quietly. Student sneaked meanings moved or walked in a stealthy way. Now he very uh, walked in a very polite way into Zeus's palace and stole a spark from Zeus. Now he stole a you know spark from Zeus, lightning bolt. Can you see in the picture? He is he is having that uh, stick and he is trying to stole. fire from that uh, lightning bolt he touched the end of the long reed reed means a tall slender leaf plant of a grass family which grows in water or marshy land you know uh, to the spark and the dry substance within it caught fire and begin to burn slowly now i have told you that hollow part is filled with some dry substance and that dry substance uh, caught the fire very easily and it burned slowly prometheus hurried back to the land of human kind carrying with him the precious spark now again he you know back to the that land where humans are living and uh, but not alone he was carrying with him the sp uh, precious spark now finally student you can see in this picture 
that he has stolen uh, spark from the lightning bolt and he now he is ready to help human kind let's go to another slide hear me o oh humans come out of your caves stop shivering look what i have got for you now he saw that people are very restless they are shivering they are just um, uh, energy lost people now he he came in front of them and he asked oh human come out from your caves and stop shivering look what i have got for you now he has got gift for human kind people come out looking at prometheus suspiciously now people are you know very worried and they thought that what he has got and suspiciously means surprisingly or shocking combination of surprise plus shocking do not be scared this is fire you can keep yourself warm in the cold winters you can keep away wild animals with fire you can cook food with fire come 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 forward now he said to the people that don't worry this is a fire this is called fire and you can keep yourself with this you can keep yourself warm uh, in the cold winters you can keep away from wild animals with fire and even you can cook food with the fire now he asked then come 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 forward i will give you this gift now men women and children gathered around the fire they were instantly warm and happy they were thankful to prometheus for the wonderful gift he brought for them now everyone was quite happy everyone was quite happy with the wonderful gift which prometheus has given to human kind now in this slide can you see one chilly winter evening zeus gazed down from mount olympus and noticed fire burning cheerfully at the hearts of men and women in every village across the land now student i would like to give you the meaning of hearth hearth mean floor of a fireplace now what he saw that uh, people uh, in the you know when he saw from his uh, uh, play palace mount olympus he noticed that burning cheerfully and humans are very happy and when men and women in every village across the world and now prometheus has done this now he must he thought because he is a supreme god he knows everything now he said prometheus has done this he has disobeyed me and imparted the knowledge of fire to human kind he will suffer for eternity now he said that he will suffer for eternity and how dare he has given the you know the knowledge of fire in spite of my instruction he disobeyed me and i will punish him now in this page or in this slide you can see zeus called one of his guard and um, he has guard he ordered guard chain prometheus up to the side of the highest mountain and let him suffer there till the end of time now he commanded to guard to get prometheus and chain him and let him suffer till the end of his life now can you see in this picture so prometheus was chained to a side of mount cacus he suffered from terrible pain every day yet he was happy that he had given the knowledge of fire to human kind he was later rescued by hercules the mortal son of zeus now student can you see how uh, good hearted and emotional prometheus was although he got punishment from zeus but still he is thinking about the human kind and he is happy that he helped them and given the knowledge of fire but later he was rescued by the hercules the mortal son of zeus and now in this chapter i hope you have understood the you know the main concept and the uh, you know the gift of fire to mankind there are multiple things uh, which come up in our mind while reading the story uh, prometheus is a famous for a you know unrelated stories like he has given the gift of fire to mankind being chained to a rock where every day an eagle come to eat his liver there is a connection however at one that shows why prometheus the father of the greek noah was called the benefactor of mankind now in spite of uh, zeus instruction he has not listened to any order and uh, he stole the fire from his uh, lightning bolt and helped the human kind prometheus cared more for men than for the wrath of the increasingly powerful and autocratic king of the god so he stole fire from zeus lightning concealed it in a hollow stalk of fennel and brought it to men prometheus also stole skills from hapetes and athena to give to men he not only he has not only given to fire to men he has also uh, taught them to how to use the fire 
and uh, how to you know how to cook the food with the help of fire and basically he has given a full power to human kind and that is why humans are you know they are um, they are the advanced animal because they are blessed with heart brain and fire which usually uh, which usually any animal can have that is why human race is the greatest race uh, after god has created any creature in this world so i hope you have understood with the chapter student uh, on my next video i will give you question answers uh, not on video sorry i will give you uh, through ppt but before that please try to find out the question answers and uh, word meaning by your own i hope you have understood with this chapter still if you are having any problem you can you are free to ask any question related to this chapter thank you and have a good day